Welcome to Time to Pray. I'm the Reverend Canon Anne Clark, an associate priest in the parish of Bonstead in East London. And every day at this time, I invite you to join me for a short period of prayer. And the prayer is taken from the Church of England's Time to Pray. And if you wish to join in the service and follow the text, you can download a free app called Time to Pray. Today is Tuesday, the 12th of May in the season of Easter. It is also uh, 200 years ago today, the birth of Florence Nightingale. So today is International Nurses Day. And they will be the focus of our prayers and our thoughts. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. Yesterday I was crucified with Christ. Today I am glorified with him. Yesterday I was dead with Christ. Today I am sharing in his resurrection. Yesterday I was buried with him. Today I am waking with him from the sleep of death. The words of Gregory of Nazianzus of the 4th century, whose uh, feast day actually was May the 9th. The psalm set for today, uh, Tuesdays in Easter season, is Psalm 66. And it reminds us that we, all the earth shall worship the Lord. All the earth shall worship you, O Lord. Be joyful in God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Sing the glory of his praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great strength, your enemies shall bow before you. All the earth shall worship you. Sing to you, sing praise to your name. Come now and behold the works of God. How wonderful he is in his dealings with humankind. He turned the sea into dry land, and the river they passed through on foot. There we rejoiced in him. In his might he rules for ever. His eyes keep watch over the nation. Let no rebel rise up against him. Bless our God, O you peoples. Make the voice of his praise to be heard who holds our souls in life and suffers not our feet to slip. For you, O God, have proved us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the snare. You laid heavy burdens on our backs. You let enemies ride over our heads. We went through fire and water. But you brought us out into a place of liberty. All the earth shall praise you, O Lord. How generous is your goodness, O God! How great is your salvation! How faithful is your love! Help us to trust you in trial and praise you in deliverance through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to play you um, a poem, uh, hopefully you can hear it if I put it near the microphone, um, to commemorate this day, uh, International Nurses Day. And Amelia Clark um, voices this uh, Royal College of Nursing video. These are the hands that touch us first. Feel your head, find the pulse, and make your bed. These are the hands that tap your back, test the skin, hold your arm, wheel the bin, change the bulb, fix the drip, pour the jug, replace your hip. These are the hands that fill the bath, mop the floor, flick the switch, soothe the sore, burn the swabs, give us a jab, 
throw out sharps, design the lab. And these are the hands that stop the leaks, empty the pan, wipe the pipes, carry the can, clamp the veins, make the cast, log the dose, and touch us last. As a proud RCN ambassador, thank you to all nursing staff. Happy International Nurses Day. I hope you heard the words of that poem describing how, I think for most of us, they are the hands, it's a nurse's hands that bring us to birth. And for most of us, it will be a nurse's hands that will be there when we die. They are there at every point of our need. And on this International Women's Day, when we remember that 200 years ago, Florence Nightingale, who pioneered nursing, was born on this day. Let's give thanks for the countless nurses who have for generations since then, served. And their giving is sacrificial. They give above and beyond. Nurses have always taken risks. Nurses are there for us at, when we are sick, when we are dying, and it's at the beginning when we are born. And so on this International Women's Day, let us pledge ourselves to honour and respect and support nurses. During this pandemic, we have realised just how much we need them, just how important they are. But we also need to hang our heads in shame and sorrow that we have not given them the respect that they have needed in the past that we have not been there for them, campaigning for them to have a decent living wage. It is not enough to go and stand on our doorsteps and clap our hands and rattle our saucepans on a Thursday night. It's not enough to put a rainbow in our windows. That does not put bread on the table. It does not protect them when they are working in these terrible conditions at the moment. If we truly want to give thanks and want to show our appreciation, then I would suggest we need to make sure that whatever happens when we come out of this pandemic and suddenly they're not needed quite so much and they're not quite so much on our minds, then maybe we will hopefully campaign that they will be paid properly, that they will not have to go to food banks to be able to feed their children, and that they will not have to pay for their own training to look after us. Our National Health Service is not a charity. We pay for it through our national insurance and our taxes, and we need to make sure that we pay enough so that they may be able to do their jobs and have a decent and respectful lifestyle. We give thanks for them, for their compassion, their dedication and their hard work. Amen. Blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called children of God. Let us pray. And on International Nurses Day, let us pray for women and men who are nurses across the world, for all who are working in hospitals, in the community, in other organisations and institutions, for midwives, 
for mental health nurses, for all who are there caring for the sick, showing love and compassion. Gracious God, give skill, sympathy and resilience to all nurses everywhere and to all who are caring for the sick. Give your wisdom to those searching for a cure for this pandemic. Strengthen them with your spirit that through their work many will be restored to health through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray for those who are ill or isolated. O oh God, help us to trust you. Help us to know that you are with us. Help us to believe that nothing can separate us from your love revealed in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we continue to pray for those who are infected or affected with coronavirus for our hospitals for our care homes for those sick in their own homes and pray for all who are caring for them god of healing in your mercy hear our prayer And let us remember those who have died. Those who have died in the past 24 hours, those who will die today. Those who have died from other ailments and diseases. And we continue to pray for their loved ones. Unable to mourn unable to give the kind of farewell they would wish for their loved ones. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. In a moment of silence, let us bring our own prayers and petitions for this day before Almighty God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that, as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help we may bring them to good effect through jesus christ our risen lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god now and forever amen rejoicing in god's new creation let us pray as our saviour has taught us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ give us his blessing. Alleluia. Amen. Thank you for joining me today and I look forward to being with you again tomorrow. Um, it continues to be Christian Aid Week and if quizzing is your thing then um, I encourage you to join uh, the quiz in this parish um, for Christian Aid. It's a virtual quiz. You can uh, book yourself onto that quiz uh, There's a on this Facebook page or on our um website you can sign up and um, your, the donation you make will go to to christian aid so uh, 
as I say, if quizzing's your thing, join in. And I wish you all a very happy Tuesday. <laughs>